Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to configure encoder with Delta PLC that is how to how we can interface the uh, encoder with Delta PLC, how we can program the same and how can uh, how we can do wiring for the encoder and Delta PLC. Okay, let's start. Okay, so we have Delta PLC and Google encoder. Okay, the KIS 50 is model number for uh, encoder. Right. So whenever uh, we have to wiring for the PLC and encoder, for in, in encoder side we have plus 24 volt supply and minus 24 volt supply to encoder. We need to give the supply to the encoder, okay. So encoder should be the 24 volt, okay, because PLC working voltage is a 24 volt. So we need 24 volt DC encoder and so in uh, at encoder side we have uh, phase A and phase B that is these are the encoder output okay means this a and b gives pulses to the uh, from encoder and this is the encoder output okay so on encoder manual you can see which are these cables for plus 24 minus 24 and uh, a and b okay so you need to connect this a to x0 x0 means x0 input of plc okay and b is to x1 okay so x1 is another input of plc and in P, for P, plc input that is ss uh, we you need to give the zero hold okay so in this encoder we have the plus output from a and b okay so that's why for in uh, common input common i have given zero hold to the plc okay Suppose if you have uh, encoder which gives the negative output that is A bar and B bar, in that case you have to give here plus 24 volt to common to the input. Okay, so this is a power supply to PLC plus 24 volt DC. Okay, so in this way we need to wiring up uh, encoder and PLC. Okay, so another part. So uh, this encoder is of 3600 PPR means you can see uh, you can see in manual what is the PPR of your encoder okay so PPR means pulse per revolution means it gives 3600 pulses to PLC for one revolution okay so if now if we want to convert this pulses to our EMM or meter whatever as per your application so how we can calculate for the same okay i will show you suppose for one rotation you have the uh, dis uh, travel distance is 10 mm right so you have 10 mm distance travel for one rotation then it means for 3600 pulses we have we can consider 10 mm right means for one revolution encoder gives us 3600 pulses and it means 10 mm so we can calculate based on this uh, PPR and this 1 mm distance we can calculate another things like uh, if we divide this 3600 with this distance we can get the pulses for 1 mm. So here in this case we have 360 pulses for 1 mm right. So in program now we will see how to convert this in mm ok. So first before going uh, uh, we will see this in uh, ahead. Okay, so how we can calculate the our actual mm based on the input pulses? Okay, this is the formula for the same means input pulses divided by 360. 360 means pulses for 1 mm. So we got the values for value in mm actual travel distance. Okay, so here I have given the example suppose you have 5000 pulses at input. So divided by 360 it means 13.8 mm travel distance right. So let's start the programming part ok open WPL soft so which is for delta PLC programming ok. I will just close this project, okay, create a new project, give the name, uh, let's say encoder, 
encoder test select your plc model number here okay i have ac plc so i am selecting ac okay okay now here in toolbar you can see here this is a high speed counter option there okay so you can uh, over, over the cursor here so one by one then you can see here high speed, high speed counter just click on this high speed counter okay you will have this pop-up window so here two three options here so this is one phase input it means whenever you have only one direction of okay means you are traveling uh, just uh, clockwise you are not traveling uh, back again it means you have just one direction that is clockwise in this case you can use this one phase input okay so in our case i am going to use one phase two input okay one phase two inputs means whenever i will click uh, i will uh, rotate clockwise okay it gives uh, x0 and I have connected another wire to the X1, right? So we have two inputs X0 and X1. That's why I am taking one phase two inputs. So whenever I will rotate clockwise, it will add the pulses. Whenever I will rotate anti clockwise, it will minus the pulses. Okay. So this is condition. Let's take here M1000. It means always on beat okay set value let's suppose take a maximum as as possible as okay okay these are the settings uh, i have connected x0 one encoder input to x0 and another one is to x1 okay so click on next so these are the some instructions if you want uh, to use this instruction you can use it or you can avoid it okay so it is depend on your application so suppose if you want uh, sudden any action output any uh, turn on any output then you can use these instructions okay i am not going to use here so just click on finish okay let's save the program yeah now let's download the program in plc Let's check the communication port. Yeah. So here some value is there. So first if we will reset this counter let's take tldm1 and uh, reset cnt sorry dcnt sorry reset c245 we have the counter number 245 yeah let's download this right click set on okay now you can see it is zero let's take it set off okay so now you can see the incoming value of encoder is zero right so now i am rotating the encoder okay i will rotate clockwise okay you can see the value is incrementing okay so i am i stop rotating the value stop i again started rotating value get incrementing right so for one rotation we have 3600 0 value around okay so i am almost uh, about i have done almost one rotation here yeah okay so again i will rotate so now i will rotate anti-clockwise so you can see the value will be decreased so value is decrementing right so value is decreasing i stop rotating value is 
again I start clockwise then value will increase again I start anti-clockwise value will be decreasing okay so and whenever you want to back it to the home means suppose you want this as a home then at home condition you need to just trigger on this bit suppose set on then this value will get to 0 turn off then again it will start counting if I rotate the encoder okay so suppose now this is the value C245 is you have from encoder so suppose you want to convert it in mm so as I have shown recently in slide so this is actually your calculation right so I will just divide this uh, I will just divide this counter C245 with divided by 360 then I will have actual distance travel distance so let's write some code for that first of all we will move this C245 in one register demo C 245 to d100 okay so simply we have moved this uh, value for this counter to this d100 okay Let's convert this value d100 value in floating type d float d100 and just save this value in d104 okay now now just divide this value by 360 that is f 360.0 and store the result in d 10h okay Let's download this program. Okay, let's monitor this value. Let's take here D108. D108. Number of register 4. Okay. So 108. You can see here it is 2.869. So suppose. Suppose we say this counter again. Okay. So now the value is this is 0 right so now I am rotating the encoder you can see actual value so now let's take 3600 almost for one rotation it will show 10 mm right you can see here this is almost 10 mm for one rotation right so for example 
so for 5000 5, pulses it should be a 13.8 mm right so let's again rotate to the 5000 yeah you can see here it's almost 13.9 right so in this way you can calculate from this encoder you can convert your actual distance in emm and all or you can program as per your requirement okay thank you friends thank you for watching this video for more interesting video please do subscribe to our channel